championship round. We've got uh, Alicia Bagnoli taking to the water first, followed by Beatrizia Yanni. Then Ali Nicholson will be second to last out, and then Jamie Ball, the four skiers in the women's competition. Let's see if she can run it for the first time in four so rounds of skiing. She's round one, that's a good one. She needs, that's two, ah, she, oh, she got that same two. Horrible number two, she She's gets around three. Around three. And Can't is quite hold it, so that's gonna be two and a half. I hope that didn't hurt her shoulder too much. She just seemed to be holding it a little bit when she went into the water. All right, welcome back to the dock. We're sitting here on the leader's couch with Alicia. Alicia, tell us a little bit what happened out there. <sighs> I'm not sure. I was just honestly, uh, with all the people here, I was so pumped. Uh, I was not fully concentrated about skiing. I was just thinking about like how cool the, the tournament is and the situation is. So I'm um, just running a little bit late from 13, 12 and on. And uh, I, I didn't have a good one at 11. So then I tried to pull, but well, what happens? Well, it happens, but um, we're happy that you're here. We're happy that you had a good time. Got the Rest. Got the throne. <laughs> yeah, you're sitting on the throne. Rest, relax on this throne, and we'll see you later. Back to you, Tony. And don't forget, she'll also be sitting in that throne. Absolutely. That's on dockside being occupied by Alicia Bagnoli right now. There's uh, Bea There's on one. number one. She's round coming out of two, looking good so far. Come on, Bea, She'll looking really good. She She's outside of three. She can. She, oh, did she get outside of four? I'm not sure. She doesn't think she did either. A bit, a lot of pressure there. So here she comes, 10.75, coming in. She's got Look a great that. one there, amazing one. She's out round towards two. two. Can she make Let's it out to three? Oh, does she make it out to three? I'm not sure. Okay, so we'll see what Jamie can do here on that 10.75. She's around one. She's yeah, strong she's around this. one. She's She's around two here. Whoa, Whoa. she gets the two. She gets she the two and she makes it around number three. three. Doesn't have to do anything Great more. Great skiing there from she's Jamie. She is our winner here today at the Caiaphas Battle Pro-Am. Stood on the end of the dock there, ready to be pushed in. Oh, no. All right, everybody. That was Let's walk with Jamie to the front as she won the Caiaphas Battle. First time champion of the Caiaphas Battle. So how did you feel out there, Jamie? Yeah, I felt good. Um, 38 felt pretty solid and I knew I needed to get a piece of three. I had a really good one and then fell away really hard at a two and was like, okay, well, and just wait for the line, move out to three, get around it and stand up for the win. All right, perfect. Smart move on your part. Enjoy your trophy, enjoy your couch and congratulations. Back to you, Tony. Well, look at this on the dock, you know, Jamie dancing around, she's happy. Yeah, she can relax now, she's done skiing for the weekend, just hang, letting it all hang loose. And look at this, it's just I've so never, unlike anything we've seen before. I've never seen Jamie like that at all. Yeah, you know, she's usually a very calm and collected person, but look, look at that. Uh, look, this is the Greek way, this is Greece. If you want to, I'm sure that this tournament is going to be happening next year, this is where you need to be. Here is your, uh, your list of skiers. George Hatsis, we believe, will go first. Then we go with uh, Matteo Luzzeri, Nick Parsons, Filipos Kiprios, Jakobonia, Corey Vaughan, Freddie Winter, Aaron Davies, Benjamin Stadelbauer, and Will Asher. So there we go. This is Nick Parsons at 10.75 meters. Oh, oh, brought the handle up. He's on his back foot and down he goes. I saw him walking, I'm making my way back down here. Yes, indeed. Filipos Kiprios opted up through uh, through 11.25 and uh, cleared 10.75, which means now his, his season's best score is 2 at 41. Let's see what kind of start he gets. I think he's in that pain-free zone right now. Let's have a look. Round number one. Does he get outside number two? Not quite. He, but he does set the bar now. Uh, here we go. This is a Corey Vaughan, 10.75 meters. Has not run this pass in the entirety of this tournament in the three rounds that we've had. But I tell you what, he's broken over in the waist. He's still there and he's out of it on three. That means that Filipos Kiprios gets to sit in that seat for a little while longer. Here we go. Freddie Winter. Round number one. And the two, wow. he's in the lead. 
He's round wow. number four oh, and he gets the three. Three boys. Yes. Is that going to be enough, we wonder? He thinks it is. This is what I love doing. I love This is the thing I love the very most in the whole world. And I'm very happy to be able to do this as, you know, week in, week out. We've got great tournaments here in Europe. This might be the best one ever, honestly. So let's, uh, yeah, I mean, whatever happens, it's been one of the best weeks I've ever had in pro skiing, ever. So I'm happy to have a decent score. Might not stand up, but I'm happy to be back. Well, we will know if it will stand up or not at the end of this tournament, but thank you very much. It's been a pleasure seeing you ski again in the pro event. Hope your back is going to be better and better every day from now on. Thanks again for being here in Kayafas, and back to you, Tony. Currently 20th on the Pro Tour standings list. Season's best, two at 10, two, five. Can he get more than that? Entrance gates, buoy number one. He, get, he has a chance. He's round buoy number two. Does he get outside? Oh, he doesn't make it. A little annoyed with himself, but he gets two. With his 10 7. Bleeds off a little bit of speed going into the gate shop, but he's fine. He's gone round buoy number one. He's good to go round number two. It's very, very important that he keeps a tight line into his pre turn. Oh no! And he just gets loose there on buoy number four. All right, so here we come, Aaron Davies, 10 7 5. Do we think that he can run it again? Let's see what kind of start he can get here. Oh, broken for it at Whoa. one. He's going to have some ground to make up. Even even more ground off number two, but he's still uh, there. No. And, he, and oh, and almost oh, ate it into four. Ready for the 10 to 5. Ready for 10.25 meters. Let's see what he's got. The lead score is three. His best score is four from the round one. Look at that. Hook up on one. Oh, he's no. good to go round number two. He's good. Piece of Come on. four. Is it good enough for yeah. the win? And there he goes. Your winner of the 2022 Kayafras battle is Will Asher with another tie of the course record under the assumption that that's four. All right, everybody, welcome back to the dock. We're here with Will, who just took his rightful spot on the leader's couch. So, Will, how do you feel after this victory? I, I feel amazing. We have had the best week of our life in Kayafras. I want to I wanna send this to Van Gillis in the sky. He'll be proud of George. He will be proud of George. And your champion, Will Asher.